Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to knit and purl through the back loop. Normally when we're knitting, we're knitting into the front of a stitch, but today we're going to be knitting into the back of the stitch instead, and that results in twisted stitches. In written patterns, you'll see these methods abbreviated as KTBL or PTBL. Right, so first I'm going to demonstrate how to knit through the back loop. With a regular knit stitch, you obviously take the right hand needle up through the front of the stitch, but when you're twisting the stitch, you take it down the back of the stitch instead, like so. Cross the right hand needle behind, and then complete the stitch as you would for a regular knit stitch. And that's it, now you've knit through the back loop. And now we're just going to repeat this across the row. So take the right hand needle down through the back of the stitch, cross the needles, and then complete the stitch just like a regular knit stitch. And so on. And now I'm going to show you how to purl through the back loop instead. Usually with a purl stitch you take the right hand needle down through the front of the stitch, but when you're purling through the back loop you take it up through the back of the stitch instead. Then cross the right hand needle in front, and complete the stitch as you would for a regular purl stitch. And that's a purl one through the back loop completed. And so on across the row. So take the right hand needle up through the back of the stitch, cross the right hand needle in front, and finish with the usual steps of a purl stitch. Most people find purling through the back loop a lot more awkward, and it could help you to turn the needles over to get a better look. Take the right hand needle up through the back of the stitch, Cross it in front, and complete it like a regular purl stitch. And so on. If you take a closer look at the stitches you've created, you can see that they're twisted. And that's it, that's how you knit and purl through the back loop. I really hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.